Hello, I'm Patricia Silva with your SCB News Break for Thursday, February 2nd. LESD is asking for the public's help regarding the disappearance of Santa Clarita resident William Searson. The LESD Homicide Bureau held a press conference regarding his disappearance on Wednesday. During the conference, his wife, sister-in-law and sister spoke, each pleading for the help of the public in locating the 58-year-old. For anyone who lives in Santa Clarita, please take a moment. For anyone who lives in Santa Clarita, please take a moment to look at my brother-in-law's picture. Try to remember where you were last Thursday evening, the 26th of January. And if you can think of anything that might help Will, please call the sheriff's office as soon as possible. All we want is for my brother-in-law to come home safely. Thank you. Please report anything you can, any, anything you thought you saw that looked unusual. Uh, we really need him back home, and uh, he calls me every Sunday, and I need him to give me that call on Sunday. Searson went missing on the afternoon of January 26, 2017. Wife Linda had spoken to him on the phone around 4 p.m. while he was home cooking dinner. When she arrived home later around 7, she noticed he was gone, but his vehicle, wallet, and cell phone were left behind. SCB Sheriff Station deputies were called to conduct a missing person investigation and found blood inside the residence during a walkthrough. Searson is described as a homebody who enjoys golf, cooking, and collecting Coca-Cola memorabilia. Anyone with information regarding his disappearance is urged to call the Sheriff's Department Homicide and Missing Persons Bureau at 323-890-5500. If you've ever wanted to know what it's like working in the fast-paced restaurant industry, just ask these students in Carousel Ranch's Ready to Work program. They got first-hand experience in it, job shadowing servers at Wolf Creek Restaurant. Check it out. Moving from table to table, carrying tray fulls of filled glasses, ensuring orders are up to quality and customers are served, restaurant servers and workers work in a fast-paced environment. That's something students in the Carousel Ranch Ready to Work program, which prepares disabled children and young adults for the workplace, learned firsthand at Wolf Creek Restaurant in Valencia. Yeah, I never knew how fast-paced everything is. Two students shadowed servers at the Valencia Staple, marking the first time students in this program had hands-on learning experience outside the classroom and ranch property. They're all smiles, and if they're all smiles in a restaurant, which can be stressful, they seem to be really thriving. Um, the, the servers that they've been paired with uh, have been exceptional about being patient and, and understanding and really uh, taking them under their wing um, to really show them the ropes of a restaurant. Although when asked if working in a restaurant is something student Jimmy Boone would like to do, the answer was definitive. No. <laughs> it's too fast. I would spill every single water and <laughs> she's a strong lady. She can get through it like Russian. It's more the experience that's most important. And these students were more than up to the task of getting the most out of this experience as they immersed themselves in the restaurant world. It's amazing first-hand experience that I don't think any type of classroom curriculum could teach or any type of uh, us as instructors telling what a job experience would be like would truly do justice. So for Wolf Creek to get behind this and allow some real fast-paced work such as that comes with a restaurant for these students to, to try their hand at I think is, uh, is invaluable to them. We are going to take a quick break but when we come back a family is reunited with a furry companion they never thought they'd see again. Plus see what Henry Mayo is doing to celebrate babies born during February. It just takes one sober moment to realize you're going to need a ride home. Welcome back to SCB News Break. 
a happy ending for a Canyon Country family whose five-year-old dog, Tomasa, was stolen from their yard in October 2016. Last Wednesday, the pup returned home after owner Amy made a theft report with the SCB Sheriff Station. While she never thought she'd see the beloved dog again, the detective assigned to the case was reportedly relentless in reuniting the dog with her family. Detective Rubalcava returned Tomasa to her home safe and sound. Babies who are born this February at Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital will receive red hat knitted and crocheted by American Heart Association volunteers. It's part of a program called Little Hats Big Hearts, which is meant to raise awareness about heart disease and congenital heart defects. Not only are little red hats in the spirit of the month of love, they also serve to promote healthy babies and moms. That's all for your SCB News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scbnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Patricia Silva.